Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com, and you know what? Most people out there didn't start with Android. They came from somewhere. Well, today I want to show you something that you Palm people might like. Now, on Palm, not WebOS, but Palm, way back in the day, to get text in, you had something called Graffiti. Now, Graffiti, for those of you who don't know, was a text input method that let you put in scribbles or scratches that were really simple characters. And you could use these single stroke characters, in most cases, to write on the screen and it would be converted into text. Well, that's great. I never could figure it out and that's why I went with Newton. But now they have graffiti for Android. So let's go take a look. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone out to the Android market I downloaded and installed Graffiti, just do a search on Graffiti, and then I activated that as one of my accepted input methods. Next, you need to select it. So what I've done here is I've fired up Evernote and I opened a new note. Now you can use any app that has a text field in it. We're going to tap and hold on that text field and choose Input Method, and this will show you all of your installed and active keyboards, Android keyboard and graffiti in my case. We're going to switch to graffiti and you'll notice the keyboard was swapped out with the graffiti pad. Now this graffiti pad is divided into two areas, the letters and the numbers area. And you can see letters is quite a bit bigger than numbers. Keep in mind that for the most part when you're writing graffiti, you're writing in all uppercase with some kind of special characters. Uh, K being one, A being another. Uh, these should be really easy relatively quick single stroke characters to write stuff and once you get the hang of graffiti you can be really fast at it so let me show you what I mean we'll just do the alphabet here really fast there's an A B C D E kind of funny looking F a G like I said a G it needs that sharp edge there you'll get an O lowercase for H, an I has a dot on top, and you have a J. We'll do numbers over here. One, two, three. So, kind of cool. Now, to switch back, of course, all you need to do is tap and hold and change your input method to graffiti and your, <laughs> from graffiti rather, because we're in graffiti now, to Android keyboard. And there you go, you've got your other keyboard. So you can switch back and forth, and it's kind of nice to have that quick way to jot rather than just to come in here and type if you want to write faster. So, showing a little bit of a kick back to the past, the graffiti input method. I'm Joe for PocketNow.com. If you like this video and think that having alternate input methods on Android is pretty cool, give this video a thumbs up. As always, subscribe to our video channel so you can stay up to date with all things relating to mobile tech. And go over to PocketNow.com, read the article associated with this so that you can get a uh, link over to a graffiti cheat sheet so you can learn how to use graffiti and speed up your text input. 